the Netherlands right now. Today, I'll be giving my thoughts and my opinions, and I'll be telling you guys why Jonah Hill didn't do nothing wrong. Or, uh, yeah. So basically, the drama is that Jonah Hill, famous actor, guy on screen in the movies, is being labeled as an abusive person based on some text messages that his ex-girlfriend leaked. First mistake, having a girlfriend, okay? Second mistake, talking to women, okay? Third mistake, trying to be level-headed with a woman in 2023. Never works out. What Jonah Hill should have instead did is invest his millions of Hollywood dollars into like a $50,000 realistic doll with breathing technology, speech technology, cooking and cleaning technology, and of course, bedtime technology. But in this video today, guys, of course, we'll be breaking down all the information, going into a deep dive, firing up OBS, and figuring out, is Jonah Hill a bad guy? I don't think so. People are saying very mean things about my brother, Jonah Hill, and it almost makes me believe that they're kind of envious of Jonah Hill. No, I'm kidding. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, what happened was not serious whatsoever. So here we are. I fired up the old Twitter. Here we are. Um, this is a call for help. I desperately need help. Uh, I literally ate a full blue size bag of the Nikocado avocado Takis and I'm having blue poops. Y'all aren't sharing all of the Jonah Hill texts and that doesn't sit right with me. It gets so much worse. Okay, here's the first one. Here's the infamous one. His girlfriend, Sarah Brady, Tom Brady's sister, uh, posts the, the DMs with Jonah from December 2nd, 2021. And at the bottom it says, see the misuse of the term boundaries. So guys, we're going to be checking this out right now. Here we go. This is what he said. Plain and simple. If you need surfing with men, boundaryless, inappropriate friendships with men to model, to post pictures of yourself in a bathing suit, to post sexual pictures, friendships with women who are in unstable places and from your wild recent past beyond getting a lunch or coffee or something respectful, I am not the right partner for you. If these things bring you to a place of happiness, I support it and there will be no hard feelings. These are my boundaries for a romantic partnership. My boundaries with with you based on the way these actions have hurt our trust. So now, for people to label this guy as an abuser off of just this alone is fucking insane. And I've, I haven't even seen the other stuff, uh, so you know, who knows, maybe he'll fucking say, if you don't give me what I want, I'll make you give me what I want, or something like that. I have no idea. But... If you try to say these texts are like, you know, clear representation of an abuser, bro, what are you even talking about? He's just saying what he wants in a relationship. You can have your own opinions on that. You don't have to agree with that. And he's saying that to his bit. He's literally saying, dude, like, yo, you don't have to agree with this. And that's cool. Like, no hard feelings. He says it right here. Like, okay, dude. Uh, that makes me feel like you're testing me to see if you should keep me around or dump me because there's something wrong with me. Like, I'm a nerdy, dorky, unaware, naive idiot socially. I hear you. Those are your words, not mine. Am I supposed to, like, start crying on camera or something like that? Uh, take some accountability and operate with respect. It's that simple because I'm tired of your attitude towards surf culture that contest the and the place because I deserve respect, period. I have been more than patient and then shit like this is still here. Fuck that contest. Fuck that place. Uh, fuck not respecting me always in every situation within surf culture or you don't get it and you don't hurt get me It's hurtful and unacceptable to me get it I don't know if you get it or care or give a shit about that shit more than me even after dr. Stern had said uh, Dr. Stern's the couple sir. Okay. Okay. Number one. Here's my thing, right? Why did she think it'll be like what what happened? Like what was the straw that ca tore the back of the camel? Why is she coming off this shit now? Right and also these messages by the way I don't think these are really that serious at all, bro it's an, a couple having an argument, bro. Couples have arguments all the fucking time, dude. Uh, it's from, like, two years ago, and Jonah Hill is, you know, he's venting his frustrations out to her. I don't think he really, you know, expected these messages to get leaked or whatever. Um, and that kind of sucks for him, you know? Like, he was just trying to, I guess, vent his frustrations out or whatever. I don't know, man. Let's see what else we have. Uh, literally just say hello and leave the convo. I love how your therapist thinks I suck. I literally am the best boyfriend on earth. Okay. 
Why is there a dog here? We've got a video by, uh, looks like this, okay, his name's Joni Brony. This could be some, like, estrogen shit. Let's check it out. What the fuck are you doing? I'm sitting here making a video about the Jonah Hill drama, and now I'm reacting to you. you. Now I'm reacting to you. What? You know my rule. You know. It's 95 degrees, Jonah. Oh my, God. it's always the temperature excuse. Where's the suit that I made you? You bought me a Barney onesie. It's, it's not even waterproof. Well, yeah, I don't really want you going in the water anyway. Remember last time? What, when I spoke to a lifeguard for a second? I'd rather you... Okay, obviously this video is like a joke or whatever the fuck, and like obviously it's like a meme and it's like kind of mocking the, the way he came off. Okay, well, there just go, there goes everything that I was reacting to. What the fuck? Dude, this is why Twitter sucks, bro. Elon Musk bought this platform. Immediately, the website turns to the garbage. I have to pay 20 bucks a month for the fucking check mark. Uh, okay, here we go. I don't, like, where, where'd that, sh where'd it go, bro? Where'd it go? I was watching that shit, dude. What the fuck, bro? We ate lunch with steak. Eaten by a fucking shark. Okay, remember last time? What, when I spoke to a lifeguard for a second? I'd rather you get eaten by a fucking shark, okay, than entertain some other dude. Oh my god. I mean, you know my rule. You know my rule. It's, you can only talk to your dad. That's like the one dude you can talk to. You know that means you're saying that I can't talk to my brother then? Yeah, but your family's from the south, so like, I'm not really sold on what his true intentions are. Oh, wow. Okay, I, I'm gonna go get lunch. I hope someone, um, I hope this guy gets a girlfriend, right? And I hope she slobs all over black BBC. Um, let's check out the replies to this shit. Uh, let's check it out. We got a physical boundary around you by uh, this, like, ugly looking mother. You simps are sick and disgusting. Bashing Jonah isn't going to get you in these narcissist women's career. Exactly, bro. I agree with this guy. It's definitely not going to get you the ass you think you deserve neither. So stop it. Less than beta. Dude, I agree, bro. This guy isn't right. That's a lot of words when you could have saved us the time and admitted you're a loser. All oh, one of those mentioned are you? I don't know. I didn't read it. Reminds me of my loser nephew who plays Xbox all day. Like, touch grass, get some exercise, and get laid, and maybe you won't sound like such a loser. Yeah, get laid, and then you're automatically not a loser. You know how many fucking losers I know that get laid? I swear to God, you meet these people, and they're like, Yeah, bro, I fuck all these bitches, and I'm fucking, I'm jacked. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I swear to God, there's probably more interesting, insightful, dope-ass motherfuckers out there on this planet that don't speak about how much they get laid and that don't speak about how fucking jacked they are all the time, dude. If you're gonna go to the gym, just go to the fucking gym, bro. Why do you have to, why do, why do you have to put it on Twitter uh, and then you won't sound like a loser? Like, what the fuck? Who is this guy? Anyways. This guy, this guy gets laid. Aspiring electrician, drummer, producer, guitarist, and singer, lover of the outdoors, and they're a socialist. I have no idea what that even means. Uh, this is the guy right here, man. This is the guy. See, that whole little end bit where I was kind of making fun of the hippie-looking dude who's the drummer and all that, that was all jokes. I don't actually, like, care either way. I was just, you know, making comedy, making jokes, trying to, uh, you know, make fun of that guy. Just... Just trying to, you know, move the video forward, progress the video forward, if that makes sense, in that sort of context there. But if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe. Jonah Hill, WRL, Riz, what do you guys think?